you guys it's the it's the look okay this is what came with the look it's like i hopped into character just watch the video okay roll the clip hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching i'm sheree welcome if you happen to be returning you are truly appreciated thank you so much and welcome back today we are talking about all of the fragrances in my collection that I haven't really been reaching for. I don't know why, but I've been playing with my fragrances. I told you that I wanted to take some time, get to know them, love on them again, and then I'm gonna be purchasing some new fragrances. But I have about six today that I just wanna show a little love to and share with you. They are beautiful, they are gorgeous, they are perfect signature scents, they are perfect anytime, anywhere, any place kind of fragrances. They're a little sexy, they're very classy, they're very sophisticated, they're very elegant. I would just consider them to be Beautiful fragrances. You guys, can we just take a moment for this look here? Okay, I am giving you my Bridgerton vibe. I told you, if you haven't watched the video where I shared five things that I'm currently obsessed with, it was a video uh, tag that was created by Mika Marks, I believe here on YouTube. And I did that tag, you guys, and it was so much fun. And I just cannot stop talking about Bridgerton. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know. And so this look here, I feel like the queen darling. You know what I mean? I absolutely love that show, you guys. If you're looking for good TV to watch, Okay, and you like the 1800s and the queens and kings and duchess and princes and the dukes and it's really, okay girl, we are not here for Bridgerton. But anyways, that's the inspiration behind the look today. I just felt like I wanted to be a princess today, a duchess even. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna share these fragrances with you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everybody is having an amazing day. My name is Sheree, as I mentioned. Yes, I kind of do that all the time. I'm over here, I'm over there, but I always bring it back. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, and that being all things fabulous. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, please go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell, and it will notify you every single time a video is placed on this channel. And without further ado, dwellings, let's go. I'm coming in with this one here. This is by Rose Dove, and this is Elixir. This is a beautiful, 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 soft, oriental, floral, beautiful fragrance. It is so sexy. I got this around, I don't know, I got this sometime last year, you guys. I did a collaboration with them, and it's simply a gorgeous fragrance. Um, I reached for it more in the spring and the summer, or more towards summer last year, but it's a beautiful fragrance. I've talked to many of you on YouTube about it already, and a lot of people on Instagram, you guys. It has bergamot, lily of the valley, rose de mai, it has some raspberry, peach. It's a oriental fragrance but it's not deep it's not dark it's not heavy but it's sensual it would be perfect for day or night it could be worn to work it would be perfect for a day scent um it could even be worn as a date scent it could be worn as a signature scent it is a beautiful fragrance it's got some cinnamon in there it's also got some cedar wood some vanilla oh my gosh it's i've already got a fragrance on for the fragrance of the day but I just wanted to get a whiff of this. This is really good. If you're looking for something sweet, seductive, uh, fruity, classy, sophisticated, can be worn day or night, work appropriate, um, anytime, anywhere, any place, this would be it. I am going to say, it's even kind of seductive and sensual. The dry down is absolutely magical. I would say when I spray this and when I wear this, I always spray heavy. You have to, I mean, it's a light scent, but it's just not beast mode. And sometimes that's okay. Not everyone wants their fragrances to be beast mode or really project like that. But for me, I really, really love this in the warmer months. I move on. Another fragrance in my collection that I don't really reach for that much, but I really like it. And I really liked it when I purchased it. I just have the one fluid ounce here and that's Peony and Blush Suede. This is another beautiful, beautiful, beautiful signature scent. I know Jo Malone fragrances tend to be very light. They don't last very long. This one is really good. And I will also make mention too that this one comes in a candle and the candle and the body cream and everything like that, you guys, it's super, super gorgeous. Anytime you want Jo Malone fragrances to last a little bit more or get a little bit more longevity out of them, all you have to do is just layer them with the body cream. Sometimes they even have a body oil. I love this so much. I use it as a room scent. I use it as a candle. Peony and Blush Suede can just get it. It is a beautiful anytime, anywhere fragrance to me. I do think that it leans more 
towards um, spring summer but year-round is good it's like a classic floral it's a beautiful beautiful scent I just get like sun dresses and Zimmerman dresses and like you know sunshiny days going to brunch going a little light shopping a play a symphony you know all the little places like that that we used to visit it has red apple it has peony it's uh, has suede it's very seductive it's still sensual even not a huge sexy sexy but it's definitely sensual and sexy I move on another one like I said these are all beautiful you know signature worthy long-lasting even compliment getters even I don't know about through the mask I haven't wore these through the mask so I don't know if you're gonna get compliments through the mask but you can give yourself a compliment it will be sufficient as long as you know that you smell good that's all that matters right right this one here is by Mason Francis Kirk John and this one here is a la rose now I spoke to you guys about this last year I had to have the a la rose in my collection I'll tell you how it happened I started with just a sample as I always recommend you guys to do as well start with the sample and then in me starting with the sample I'm like like, but I really like this but I don't need a full bottle this is when they first launched these little bottles here super super cute and I thought you know what I'm just gonna add it in that size in my collection and it's beautiful I cannot wait to rock this all spring and summer it's very fresh it's not an old stuffy you know um, I'm not gonna say old but I mean you know old it's not an old rose it's very modern it's very chic even it's a beautiful it's got lychee accord Damascus rose oil peony it's just a beautiful romantic fragrance I have several reviews on my channel about this fragrance and I always describe it and I'm gonna stick with that to me it smells like wet roses if you've ever gone to the farmers market or if you've ever gone to a nursery right in the morning when they first opened and it was kind of cold and crisp the air was there and then you would open up the you know the the nursery door what have you you would reach in for a bucket or a bag or a what are they called? What do roses come in? A bunch? I don't know you guys. But you would reach in and you would grab a bucket of red roses and they'd still be kind of wet from being water. That's exactly what this scent reminds me of. And it's just so beautiful. This would be beautiful to be worn on Valentine's Day too. You guys, I'm not gonna stop talking about Valentine's Day. Okay, I absolutely love it. It is like a holiday for me. What does it go? It goes my bird, okay. Christmas, <laughs> my birthday, Valentine's Day. Yeah, those are the holidays. I mean, those are the ones that I really, really love. I mean, I, my, my love language is gift. Can you tell? What's your love language? Leave your love language in the um, description box below. If you don't know, there is a way you could go on Google and there's even a book and you can find out what's your love language. My love language is the first one is gifts and then the second one is quality time. I mean, who would have thought, right? I move on. But that is Ala Rose by MFK. I move on. Another beautiful scent that I talk about all the time, but not really. I mean, it comes out like here and there, but it's beautiful. I should talk about it a little bit more. This is Tiffany & Co, but this is sheer. This is a little bit lighter than the original one that originally came out. And this one has Ylang Ylang. It's got some Mandarin rose oil. It's a beautiful blend. It's a beautiful, fresh, upbeat, clean, out of the shower, anytime, anywhere, any place. Signature scent worthy. Can be worn to work, can be worn to the office. Even if you're gonna be sitting in, in close quarters to someone or if you're in close you know proximities maybe your office is here their office is here or maybe you're sharing a cubicle type space maybe you're just gonna rock it to a zoom call maybe you're gonna rock it to a PTA meeting online I don't know this is something you can wake up in the morning have a cup of coffee take your shower do some light hair and makeup if you felt like it or if you felt like it okay this is basically what she does and then you just spray some on and it's really good and you feel put together this fragrance makes me feel put together the the vibe of it is sparkling and clean. Oh my gosh, yeah, I've missed you. I used to wear this to church a lot. This would be a great church scent too. I mean, it's just it's just not in your face and it's very clean. You just walk in, it's like a breath of fresh air. That's exactly what this is. So if you're looking for something fresh, timeless, classy, beautiful, this would be a great way to go. I recommend Tiffany and Cher. I move on. Another one that, of course, if you're not following me on TikTok, you totally missed the movement. I think I posted it on Instagram too. So if you're not following me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram. If you're not follow me on Instagram follow me on TikTok you could just really follow me on both I mean why not why not you guys TikTok is so fun I'm having so much fun over there anyways you could get easily caught up I will say that I did um, a TikTok and I was showing like my fragrance rotation for a few fragrances that I have been playing with and I put this one in there and I don't know if I've ever spoke on the channel about it before get a load of how beautiful can you guys see this how beautiful this is by the house of Siage. this is whispers in the garden and this is whispers of truth this is a 
beautiful, beautiful scent. I remember when I was going through the fragrances when I first ordered the Discovery set and I was playing with the Signature line and then the Whispers line and then in the Signature line I was like, oh my God, my favorite is uh, Passion de la More. I've gotta have it, I gotta have it. And then from the Whispers line when I got to this one and I did a whole review on all of them on the channel, you guys, it's already up on the channel. Um, it was Whispers of Truth. This is so beautiful. This is actually the limited edition um, bottle right here, but it's simply gorgeous. So this one here, it does smell like Baccarat Rouge 540. I'm not gonna lie, when I first got a whiff of it and I first smelt it, I'm like, oh my God, it's totally giving me Baccarat Rouge 540 vibes. And I, it's so weird because it seems like we compare that fra every fragrance to that fragrance. I don't know if they all have some of the same similar notes or what has happened, but it seems like every fragrance I get, I'm like, I smell a little Baccarat in there, you know what I mean? I smell a little Baccarat in there. So I don't know, but this one has grapefruit, bergamot, orange in the beginning, in the top notes, and you do get that. You get a fresh grapefruit right away. Look at that atomizer though, did you see that? That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's good. Oh my gosh, with the orange note in here. I will say, this is a lot brighter in my opinion. It's a lot more fruit forward in the beginning, especially of course the grapefruit, the bergamot, the orange, it's there, but it lingers. It doesn't just leave right away. And then in the middle you have your rose and your jasmine and then down in the base you have your musk, your uh, moss and then your caramel and it's there. And then as it dries down, it dries down very beautifully. It's not a beast beast, but it's definitely there. Um, it's just not, loud but it's there and it projects and it's beautiful it leaves a beautiful scent bubble beautiful scent trail this would be nice for a signature scent as well it's very graceful i just get beauty in this i just get luxurious i get beautiful i get signature worthy as i mentioned this would just be a great scent to wear you know all year round but it really is nice in the spring and the summer however it's been cold here i mean for la i believe it got down to what 40 the other night and i wore this the fireplace was going and my guy's like what are you wearing and i was like oh that's whispers of truth so it is really really good i have so much stuff on right now but this is a beautiful scent i move on i'm gonna have links to everything in the description box below and this right here i will definitely have a link i have my link so you can shop at house of siage in the description box below i move on another scent that is really beautiful now i played with this scent a little bit I merely ordered this scent, not really, but if I were to be honest, shh, shh, between us, you know, you don't have to go tell everybody. It was a bottle for me. I was on this MFK kick, you guys. I, every other day or week, really, I'm exaggerating. It seemed like MFK, you know, was I was getting a delivery from MFK to the door. Once I find something that I like, I just go, I just go in. And so I get all of it that I want, you know, within, you know, the time that's allotted and the time that I have and the money that I have for it. So I'm like, okay, I went with this one. I'm on the website one night, I'm surfing around, I'm looking and I'm like, oh, that looks nice. I didn't have a sample of this one. So this one was a blind buy and I, I don't, I can't recall. I have so many samples and I sampled so many of their fragrances from the house of MFK, but I do not know if, I can't recall honestly if I sampled this one. But when I got it, I smelled it and I was like, oh, at, at first, at first, at first. That's why you have to play with it. That's why you got to get to know it. That's why you have to get to know it. You have to wear it, different climates, different seasons. Um, different outfits, different feelings, different moods. You know how it goes, right? This is Maison Francis, Kirk de Jean, and this is Femini Perel. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And like I said, it was the bottle for me. It is rose gold. It is gorgeous, darling, gorgeous. This right here is a beautiful fragrance. I had to compartmentalize it. I had to place it somewhere. All of the ones that I was getting from MFK before were a lot louder, a lot stronger. They hit a lot heavier. They did a lot more. Not with this one. This one is a beautiful, quiet, soft, innocent, shy, but not shy type of gal. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful scent. It is um, rose, but it's not sweet. And it's not an old rose either. Again, another modern chic pair type of rose. Very gorgeous. Um, it has some violet in it, some iris. It's a white floral. It's woody. It's fruity. It's got jasmine. In the base, it's got a little bit of patchouli. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It had. I had to take a moment to play with it to really 
you know, know where to place it at in my life, especially when you like fragrances the way I do, when I like it hard and heavy and oud and incense and, you know, spicy and Sichuan pepper and cayenne pepper and Kanye West. No, 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. But I'm just saying, when you like all that, when you get something as soft as this, it's like, where's the rest of it? But this is it. And so as I told you guys in a couple of videos back, my life has been more in the house now. I'm not going out. I'm not as active as I was. I'm not doing nearly the life I was doing before. So sometimes I was reaching for some of my fragrances and they were just doing too much. They made me, when I put them on, they automatically triggered a memory. But at the same time, they made me feel like I was going somewhere, I was doing something, and I wasn't. It was too much for what was going on because there was nothing going on, okay? There was just nothing. I was just sitting in the house <laughs> watching Bridgerton. So this is the kind, this is the type of fragrance that I can put on, sit in the house and be okay, go down, make myself a chamomile tea, put on Bridgerton and just Netflix and chill on the couch. Smell beautiful, smell amazing. If my guy were to come over and get cozy and close, I wouldn't be off putting, I wouldn't choke him out. I definitely am gonna overspray. But I'm not gonna choke anybody out, although I'm not opposed to it, but that's for more for public. In the inside, you know, I know how to act. So that is what this is. If you guys are looking for something Thing. And I don't know why my video had why my voice turned soft this whole video because these are soft beautiful Classy sophisticated signature scent worthy type fragrances. I just felt that I had to talk a little bit more calm a little bit more soft you know what I mean? <laughs> Guys, I have no idea what's wrong with me today, but that's what this is. This is floral. Like I said, it's fresh. It's got iris in there. We recently know that she has fallen in love with iris. I don't know what it is. I think it's when I made my own fragrance with Old Factory NYC. I just fell in love with the iris note. I smelt it in its Ross farm, and I just, um, I just fell in love with it. I absolutely love it. But this one here is really good if you're looking for a soft, anytime, anywhere, but very long lasting. It's very long lasting. Projects, the longevity is there. It has a nice sillage. It doesn't disturb the piece. It's very classy. I would say that you can even wear this. This is a type of fragrance that you could even wear on a date night. Maybe it's not that date where it's hard, heavy, and seductive. Maybe it's that date of, I just wanna get to know you, and you want him to know that you're a lady, you're a woman, she's a lady, she's a woman. You know what I mean? I don't know if there's a song that goes like that, but I kinda felt that, and I just needed to sing a little bit. Um, this would be the fragrance to reach for. So I would always say start with the sample. Um, I'll have the links in the description box below. I can't recall what this is, but it's by MFK, so I'm pretty sure it was a pretty penny, but I do highly recommend it. It is a beautiful, beautiful signature scent worthy type fragrance, and I don't hear a lot about it. So for those of you that want to stand out and, you know, not smell like everybody else, you're not going to smell like everybody else with this. I don't think I've ever really heard anybody else talk about it, and it's a beautiful fragrance. I move on. And and that is it for today's video. I just thought I'd take a couple point five seconds, <laughs> way more than seconds. I thought I'd take 2.5 minutes or so and just share a couple of beautiful fragrances that was in my fragrance collection that I haven't reached for in a while and share them with you in case you're looking for any signature scent worthy fragrances beautiful fragrances, fragrances that can be worn anytime, anywhere, any place. They're not off-putting. They could be worn in close quarters. They're very long lasting. They leave a nice scent trail. They are beautiful scents. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Also leave in the comment section below, what is the beautiful signature scent worthy fragrance that you have in your collection? I would love to know. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch my video. I will see you beautiful souls in the next video, darlings. Until until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, stay fabulous, but more importantly, wear your mask and stay safe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.